What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a very special video. A little bit of backstory. Uh, uh, for those people who don't know, the way that I get any shiny Pokemon you see me using in any of my battle videos is via Pokemon Home. You can go on the mobile app and trade with people from around the world and you can actually see when you're on their GTS feature. Um, you can see when people are offering shiny Pokemon. Obviously, that's uh, the pro of that is that you can trade Pokemon for what I do is usually all these legendary Pokemon that I've caught over the years and just, you know, kept transferring into my new games. Um, and and you can get a shiny, really cool shiny Pokemon. That's, that's how I get all my shinies. The bad aspect of that is that, you know, there are certain Pokemon you can't get because you don't know how they're trained. Mostly, you, you can't really trust that a Pokemon that's used in Trick Room is uh, going to be uh, at zero speed IVs if it's shiny on GTS, because you can't check that before you make the trade. However, today, this morning, I woke up, I checked GTS, I checked for my sh favorite shiny Pokemon. That's going to be uh, Clawitzer, okay? I actually checked for Clauncher, the pre-evolved form, and I found one that was at level 1, it was Quiet Nature, Okay, and it was in a lure ball. All of those things pointed me to believe that this thing was bred to be competitively viable. All right, uh, and uh, I traded away a level 100 Cresselia for it, <laughs> praying that this thing was gonna be zero speed, and sure enough, it was. Otherwise, I would not be making this video. I would not be uh, using a shiny Clotzer in this video. Obviously, this looks like my Raichu team because it has dual terrains, but it's also got a third terrain because the whole thing about Clawitzer, in case you don't know, is that Clawitzer uh, gets uh, its its pulse moves are increased by 50% because of its ability Mega Launcher, um, and there's a new move that is that uh, Mega Launcher applies to in Isle of Armor Sword and Shield, uh, and that is Terrain Pulse. Uh, and Terrain Pulse is actually boosted and its type changes depending on the terrain that's on the field. So, today we have a Clawitzer team uh, with three different terrains so we can always customize how we want uh, Terrain Pulse to come out. And it's going to be hitting super, super hard out of this very um, specially offensive Clawitzer. Uh, Clawitzer also has Heal Pulse to help uh, set up Pinkurchin. Uh, it's also got a room service to make it slower, because that's the thing, is Clawitzer, even at min speed, is not, like, that's why Clawitzer, you never see it, is because it's a little too fast to be a Trick Room Pokemon, uh, at least a mainstream Trick Room Pokemon, and it's a little too, it's way too slow to be a normal uh, Pokemon, but we're gonna make it work here on this team. Uh, we're gonna try. It's gonna be a fun video. I'm not gonna share the code for this unless people really, really want it, and they, like, demand it. I'm not even gonna set, like, a like goal for this, because... I really don't expect this team is going to be putting in a ton of work, but we're going to try to see if we can't make Clawitz or work um, at least once or twice in this video. I'm very excited. Uh, ten minutes into the intro, it feels like, at this point. Uh, but we're going to jump into our first battle right here. Let's do it. Okay, we have a Psychic Terrain uh, team over here, which is kind of fun. Um, it makes me want... Uh, yeah, they could easily bring out... Huh. They could easily bring out, uh... Their Ndidi Alakazam. I don't think they're going to, because we have other terrains that could mess that up for them, turn one. So I actually don't think they're going to do that. Uh... I kind of think we could go Trick Room here. They don't have a way of stopping Trick Room. Unless that Alakazam is the Imprison set. Uh, so why don't we try to go Porygon 2 and Clots are right out of the gate. Uh, we can bring Pink Urchin in the back. Uh, and maybe we can also bring in Didi in the back. What kind of uh, Urshifu do we think that is? It could be the Dark one because they don't have a Dark type. But it could also be the Water one to utilize Rain. Um... Gosh, I think I might want to bring Rillaboom either way. 
No, no, I do. I want to bring in DD. Just because the Gyarados of a Dynamaxes can really put a dent in Gorillaboom. Um, the play, I don't think, is... It's not going to be to ever Dynamax Clawitzer. Uh, this set is kind of built so that it can sit next to a Trick Room Pokemon. Mainly Pink Urchin, let's be honest. Um, and be able to heal Pink Urchin while also supporting it. Because obviously Terrain Pulse isn't Terrain Pulse when it's Dynamaxed. Okay, so this is kind of amazing. They could go for um, a fake out here. What do we want to do? They could try and fake out my Porygon. I could easily go into Ndidi. Just to set the, uh, the Psychic Terrain, stop the... Yeah, let's go. Let's go hard and DD right now, and let's um let's terrain pulse right into Raichu. Let's get rid of that so that Pink Urchin can come in afterwards. Hopefully, we can set up Trick Room, uh, and Pink Urchin can uh, uh square off against the um the Gyarados. Pink Urchin has an Electric Seed, so it'll actually boost its uh its defense. Ooh, Electric Seed might be Special Defense. I can't remember. No, I think Psychic Seed and Misty Seed are special defense. I think Electric Seed is physical defense, meaning... Um, yeah, meaning uh, it'll actually... Once it Dynamaxes, it'll have a better shot at, at this... Against this Gyarados. Right, you tried to fake out. It cannot... Here comes an Airstream into Ndidi, most likely, trying to take out the Porygon. Didn't even knock my Ndidi to a Sash. This is the, um, this is my physically defensive Ndidi. Uh, maybe I should start running. Maybe I should run Psychic Seed on it instead. I just didn't have anybody who utilized, um... There's the Focus Sash. Um, what's the play here? They can't, they can outspeed. Um, how do I go about not losing two Pokemon here? Based on how much that did, by the way, if you didn't just clock it, Terrain Pulse's animation is amazing. Um, I think I have to follow me. Raichu's gonna go first. Um, and we can just try and... Let's just try and take out Raichu. Judging by how much the damage that did to Ndidi, I'm hopeful that, uh, Max Airstream won't take out... Nuzzle's not gonna take out Ndidi, that's awesome. So we are actually going to be able to take out this Ndidi. The bad thing is that they do get the Moxie boost. Or sorry, we're going to take out the Raichu. Uh, they do get the Moxie boost from knocking out Ndidi. And they are super fast now, so we do have to be a little bit careful. But Pink Urchin in the back should be able to uh, to take out the Gyarados. And we can actually protect with Clawitzer too. I wish we were under Trick Room, obviously, but um, this is not a worst. This is not worst case scenario. Just yet. Um, and with Porygon in the back, at any point in time, Porygon can try and click Trick Room. Here comes Alakazam, which they are trying to take uh, take advantage of the Psychic Terrain. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Um, my play here is to. Yeah, my play here has to be to try and max lightning into that uh, into that Gyarados, right? They could protect, but I think it's too risky to not anticipate that. And we have we have our own protect, so Clawitzer looks so clean. Can we be honest? And don't pretend like my trainer doesn't look clean too. This outfit is gaudy, and. Uh, flashy as hell. And I love it. Alright, we got Big Pink Kirchin. You know, one of my favorites. 
<laughs> up on the field. Two of my favorite Pokemon right now, Shiny Clawitzer and uh, Pink Kirchen. I didn't know that Clawitzer was one of my favorite Pokemon until I obtained it this morning. Until I was like, oh wow, I have a Shiny Clawitzer. That's actually the cleanest Pokemon in the game. Uh, what we have to pray now is that the Alakazam isn't able to take out Pink Kirchen here. Or that the Alakazam targeted um, Clawitzer. What I probably should have done is doubled into... This this won't take out Pinkurchin. I could have doubled into the uh, the Gyarados here. And gone for Terrain Pulse into Gyarados. Because that would have... Um, that also would have been a super effective electric attack. I wasn't thinking about that. That would have been my best play, I think. Because then we'd be getting a move off into Alakazam as well. I don't hate that Clawitzer doesn't have any damage on it yet. That's okay with me, but... Oh, and here comes Politoed. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we could actually max guard here. Because I do think they're going to go into Pinkurchin. And we can Terrain Pulse into this Politoed. <laughs> this, team, this team is a blast. I'm having so much fun. We're not even under Trick Room and we're still, we're still doing really well. Dazzling Gleam. Gotta assume that uh, Politoed went into Pinkurchin, knowing that they couldn't kill Pinkurchin with a Dazzling Gleam. Yes, sir. And here comes Electric-type Terrain Pulse. Come on, baby. Ooh. Ooh, come on. <laughs> Clawitzer. Oh, this thing is so cool. What a fun Pokemon to use. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're probably going to quit. But, for good measure, no, I can't be a jerk. I could actually go for, um, I could have gone for Water Pulse in the rain. Come on, Clawitzer, look how cool this Pokemon is. Get out of here. Get out of here. Absolutely ridiculous. So cool. That was such a fun battle. I can't get over it. <laughs> Wow. Way to go, Clawitzer. Hey, maybe this team is worth sharing. I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Next battle. Alright, let's see if Tessa has any way of stopping Clawitzer. Uh, definitely has a lot of threats. But it, but their team makes me want to uh, trick room really bad. Really bad. Um, just wondering if I can pull it off. Um, just wondering if I can pull it off. It's gonna be tough. They have the Alakazam seeming without a Psychic Terrain Setter. So if I see that thing, I, I think I might assume that it's the Imprisoned Set. I don't know. I don't know how common it is. We also have the Raichu, but I don't know that I'm going to bring Raichu very often. I don't think that Raichu and Clawitzer come to too many games together. And I am having so much fun using Clawitzer that uh, Raichu might be... Raichu had its videos, right? This is Clawitzer's time. Uh, Rillaboom can come to this one. And I I think Pink Urchin? Yeah. No, maybe I want Ndidi just for the follow me support. Oh, God. Nope, let's bring Pinkurchin. No follow me support. I don't want Ndidi because I don't want to set their psychic terrain in case uh, Alakazam comes out at some point. I just banged my knee against this uh, desk. This desk is very low. <laughs> very low desk. Okay, Alakazam and Togekiss come out. Should I assume that it is in prison? Um, I think I'm going to try it. I think I'm going to try to get it off. What's the worst thing that can happen? They imprison me. 
and then Togekiss tries to attack me. Or not, it just uses follow me. Okay, so they are the imprisoned set, and just nobody attacks this turn, which, you know, end of the day, not the end of the world. Uh, in that case, I'm going to Terrain Pulse into this Togekiss, and I'm going to switch right into Pink Kerchim. Um, man, I even said that I was going to read it as the Imprison set earlier at Team Preview, and I... <sighs> man, I don't know. It's too, uh, it's, uh... It's very, uh, uh, appealing's not the word. It, it's a word that works here, but that's not the word I'm looking for. It's, uh... I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Dazzling Gleam. We're not going to mind that too much. And here comes a nice terrain pulse. Yes, sir. Togekiss doesn't like that. Come on, Klotzer. Klotzer's absolutely taking names. Here comes Drake Assault. Uh, not a Pokemon Klotzer loves to see. Um. But I could switch into Rillaboom here. Why don't we switch into Rillaboom here with Klotzer? Let's get big. And let's go for a Max Geyser into Alakazam. This way, um, we can take an electric move with Rillaboom. Uh, and we can knock uh, Alakazam down to what I'm assuming is a Sash. Um, and then we can clip it on the next turn by going for Fake Out or Grassy Glide if we still have Grassy Terrain up, which I, I don't, I, I doubt. Um, Pinkurchin's still not in a bad position here, though. Uh, Pinkurchin is uh, pretty bulky, uh, even more physically bulky, looking at this Drake Assault, thanks to its, um, its Electric Seed. Think urchins cry. <laughs> Dazzling gleam. Think urchin eats that up. Here comes a max lightning into the Rillaboom, which Rillaboom doesn't mind too much. Uh, and now we can go for Max Geyser into Alakazam. Uh, and taking out Alakazam allows us to try and set up Trick Room uh, further down the line. Uh, the problem is that even though Dracozol doesn't have anything really for Pinkarchen, it could still—I mean, it could go for Max Wormwind. I'm not—I'm not crazy. Uh, we don't really have anything for them either. Max Ooze is our best bet. And it's just not a great bet. <laughs> Max Geyser and Max Lightning are both um, very, very weak into Drake Assault. But Max Ooze will have to do for now. We'll clip the Alakazam. If I had to guess, Drake Assault's gonna. Oh, no! Drakezolt's going for Pinkurchin. Wow, big move. Big move. So actually, I was sitting there thinking, like, I could max guard, but I really don't think I'm... Like, I... Oh, critical hit. That was nice. Really, we have a special attack row. Sick. I actually saw that 
Rillaboom gets Snarl. Future set? Who knows? Could be meta-defining. Um, I was thinking about going for Max Guard, but I really didn't think that they were going to attack Bink in there. So that's very, very interesting to me. Uh, Cinderace is out. I think I can knock off, or maybe I can U-turn. I'm going to try and U-turn into um, Cinderace here. And I'll go for a max guard with Pink Urchin. How does this work? If I go for a max guard, will they turn into a dark type? If they go for a Sucker Punch? No, they went for Pyro Ball anyway. In the rain, though? Physically defensive. Lived on one. Lived on exactly one HP. And hey, guess what? That's all you need. So we got a berry. And uh, even at one HP, we could still come in and fake something out later. Oh, they went for Airstream into Pink Urchin. I'm not a thousand percent sure. That would have uh, killed me there, buddy. That was pretty risky on your part. With the rain up, I am less and less scared. I, I think that we could get up Trick Room here. I'm not kidding. Let me get this. Oh, it was attack boost. I don't. I forget how that works. I forget how download calculates whether it raises attack or special attack. Uh, I think I gotta go for it, right? Let's try and trick room and let's try and liquidation, I guess, into Cinderace. Yeah. If Pinkurchin goes down here, it's good for me because that's just a better chance that um. That Porygon lives something here. Uh, an issue that I'm seeing is that Dracozolt could obviously Bolt Beak, and I don't know if that can one-shot Porygon. But we'll, we'll see. This Porygon's like a crazy mix of EVs, so I, it's not fully physically or especially defensive. They went for High Jump Kick, and they hit it. And that was able to one-shot. Jesus Christ. Sorry. That's dumb. Uh, okay. High jump kick. Who goes for that? It's okay, though. I think we're still gonna be okay. High jump kick made them a grass type. Huh. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if we can do it. Um, yeah, our pulses are not good against Dracozolt right now. It would have to be Rillaboom that took out Dracozolt. I could try and heal pulse Rillaboom. But to do that, I'd have to... Uh, I'd have to fake out Dracozolt. I kind of think it's a weird option, but I think it's our best one. If we, if we hope to win this. Oh, Rocky Helmet just blew, like, completely screwed me. Can this miss, please? Oh, great. Okay, so Heal Pulse is going to do nothing. And now we'll never know if, uh... If Klotzer had a prayer against Cinderace. Alright, Dracozole could still miss something, and we could still confuse it with water po water terrain, or water poles. Um, so I think I have to bank on Dracozole missing some stuff here. So let's water pulse into Cinderace. What type is Cinderace right now? It's fire type. It won't be in a second, but it's fire type right now. Sucker punch. Dark type. is probably just going to go for Aerial Ace, if I had to guess. No, it went for both big and it hit it. Yeah, we were, we were, um, pretty, uh... 
uphill climb as soon as it was Rillaboom and uh, and uh, Clawitz are left. Um, them having high jump kick and hitting it uh, is what sealed our fate, honestly, under the Porygon 2. Unfortunate, but um, not going to keep us down. Next battle. Okay, we're playing against uh, Ivane. Ivane, Ivan. That A and that E are pushed together. I don't know if that is an A and an E, or if that's a different character altogether. I don't know. I don't know, but we're playing them, huh? And look at their team. Their team is so cool. They have Pelipper. You know Politoed's out, right? Uh, this actually might be a person who doesn't have Isle of Armor, because none of their Pokemon um, are from Isle of Armor. Uh, but that's good news for us. Um, we can definitely hope to get up uh, Trick Room here. I think the way to do it, though, is in DD and Porygon. Um, you know what? No. We could go Porygon and Clawitzer, but let's bring Pinkurchin in case they lead the, uh, the you know, Venusaur. And uh, we can also bring Indeedee, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is right. They could also lead um, Togedemaru, who could fake me out. I'll be shocked if they lead Togedemaru and Venusaur, though. That could be weird. Incineroar and Alcremi. Okay. Well, they can still fake out. Uh, but if they want to do that, they're going to get water pulsed in the face. Our attack rose. Sick. <laughs> um, let's try and trick room, despite the fact that Alcremi is sitting right there. Uh, and let's just try and water pulse into this incinera. I think, right? They could fake out. I'm aware of that. Uh, maybe I should have switched into Ndidi. In the Clawitzer slot. Oh, they faked out Clawitzer, actually. Mystical Fire into Clawitzer as well. They are not dealing with Clawitzer today. They're like, no thank you, sir. I'm getting a call from my brother. I'm recording, Scott. Uh, cool. So my speed fell, but I don't feel like I can stay in here. Um, you know what? I'm only at minus one special attack. I could probably do it. Um, and why don't we bring in Ndidi now, too? The problem is, is that I'm pretty sure Alcremi will underspeed my Ndidi. Uh, ideally, Klotzer... Oh, they hit a water berry. How odd. Man, in Cinero, you can never guess what that, what kind of, uh... You can never guess what kind of, uh item it's going to hold. It holds so many different things. And that snarl really hurts us. Uh, Mystical Fire again? Yes, sir. Didn't want to deal with it. Uh, huh. Okay. Very, very interesting. I could Helping Hand. Water Pulse. I don't hate that. I think this will do it. I do, even at minus two. It didn't actually do it. it and we didn't get the confusion either. Darkest Lariat into Ndidi. Takes out Ndidi, and this will probably be Mystical Fire again. Uh, I'm definitely going to want to swap out Klotzer. Giga Drain. Great move. Wow. Uh, okay. Okay. Pincurchin can come out here. 
Um, and I think I can start cursing. That feels good. Um, yeah, I kind of think that I should take out the Incineroar with uh, Clawitzer, and I should just... I could protect, too. How many turns of Jerkrimmer left? Two turns. So maybe I should protect once. Let's protect once. Sonora is leaving. Togedemaru is coming out. Smart. Alcremia is getting big. So if they targeted um, Clawitzer, which I wouldn't be surprised to see that they did, they could go for max overgrowth into Clawitzer. That's what I would do if I was them. And reset the electric terrain too. Um, the only problem they're going to face is that on the next turn, I'm going to be at plus one with Pink Urchin, and I can go for a Max Ooze. Although, Max Ooze is weaker base power. It's only 90, so... Uh, I could double. Hmm. Yep, there's the Overgrowth into Clawitzer. Very smart. That, almost, that was really weird how slow that went down. Uh, the HP bar there. Did take out Clawitzer. But... Let's just see. Let's see. Let's see if Porygon, first of all, could boost its special attack here. Let's see. Attack. Dang. Uh, they could also pretty easily... Um, hmm. If I took out Toga tomorrow, then I could reset my own electric terrain. I don't think I care about it that much, to be honest with you. And let's just try an Ice Beam into Alcremie, since we'll be at plus one. Hopefully I can get up a, uh, a Trick Room again. I don't know that it'll be possible. Yeah, we might we might have messed up the uh, the momentum of this battle a little bit. Togedemaru did fake out Porygon. Here comes the Max Ooze. That did half, okay. If they went for G-Max Finale, then they're going to heal themselves back up here. Actually, they're going to heal themselves back up anyway because of the Grassy Terrain. There's the G-Max Finale into Porygon. Man, Porygon does not take hits like you want it to. Uh, but that did not do a ton. I'm okay with how much that did. And Grassy Train's gonna help us out, too. Uh, if I'm them, I'm probably gonna Zing Zap into Porygon. Like, I think they have to target Porygon. But we're just gonna Max Ooze into Alcremie again, and we're gonna try and get this Trick Room up, because if we can get it up, then we can also recover on the next turn, and, like, that'll switch the whole momentum back around in our favor. Alcremie just doesn't do that much. They're gonna Iron Head... Okay, will they get that flinch? That's kind of all that matters. Will they get that flinch? If they do, I'll be salty. I'll be honest. Oh, if they do, I'll be so salty. Come on. Thank God. For a second, I was like, I really think they're going to do it to me. I had really bad RNG when I was trying to record yesterday, to the point where I was just every single battle getting like RNG'd out, and I couldn't even record things that were worth posting. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Okay, so we're in a really great position now. Uh, we can... Let's just max ooze and creamy. Porygon's now the strongest thing you've ever seen. Um, ooh, Alcremie's leaving. 
Here comes Corviknight. Very smart. Um, and now we're in a position where we actually have to take out Togedemaru before we can use any of our electric moves against Corviknight. Obviously, that's that's doable. We can we can definitely do that. But we would now risk the uh, the chance that Corviknight does some weird stuff. Like Corviknight could have body press, which could really mess up Porygon. So we might even want to recover on this turn. We just got Trick Room up, so we do have three more turns of it. Uh, let's liquidation into Porygon or into Togedemaru, and let's just recover. I, I'm happy that I, we went for that one curse because Pinkerton's now slower than Porygon. It might have already been, but uh, now at least we can. Uh, we'll be able to kill Togedemaru and then go for Thunderbolt on the next one. They did go for bulk up. Okay, so this thing is like a, a setup set. Uh, something tells me that thing has uh, body press. Uh, do we do the risky thing here and go for another liquidation into Togedemaru and then go for an electric move into Corviknight? If they protect, then we won't be able to do any damage here. But I don't know that I don't know that Togedemaru runs protect a ton. I really don't. Um, I think we can go for it. Porygon's at plus plus two. It's a plus two special attack right now. So that should take out Corviknight if it hits. Spiky shield. Blown opportunity there. Uh, that's actually going to hurt us. To, uh, that didn't do that much. Okay. All right. Let's get punished for it. Come on. No, they bulked up. Okay. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, we still have... How many turns of Trick Room left? Is this the last one? We just only have one left. Oh, man. We really blew... How many... Wait, what's happening here? How do I have so many... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot that Pinkurchin also has defense boosts. Uh, so now let's get rid of Togen tomorrow, and now let's go for a Thunderbolt into Corviknight. Something else is coming out. Alcremie is going to get knocked down. And when they come back in, they'll have two different Pokemon that can try and fake me out. We got. We have to do so much damage with this Thunderbolt. Yes, sir. Thank you, Porygon2. Come on, man. Oh, come on. Let's do this. Dimensions return to normal. It's only inc it's Incineroar and Togedemaru. We have to take out that Incineroar. The Incineroar is the bigger threat. Uh, obviously, they could just fake me out twice if they wanted to. I don't know why they would do that. I don't know that we even need Por like I don't like I'm gonna go for Trick Room here with Porygon. I don't know that we're gonna need it in the end. Um, to be honest, I think that Pinkurchin sitting at plus two defense is gonna be able to do it anyway. Although, we saw that Incineroar has Darkest Lariat, not, um, not Throat Chop. So Darkest Lariat will ignore our defense boosts if they go for that. Battle was canceled. Okay, so they saw the writing. Wow. I really wish we could play that out because I think ultimately it would have been a pretty epic conclusion. But anticlimactic. I hope you were able to see how that would have worked out. Oh, man. What a fun team. What a fun day. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing a shiny Terrain Pulse Clawitzer taking on the VGC Ranked Ladder, dear God, give me a like, a comment, a subscribe, something. Please let me know. I wasn't planning on sharing the team code for this team. However, if enough people really express that they want to use this, nothing's going to stop me from sharing team codes. So if you want to use this team, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me that you want to use it. We don't even currently have a like goal set up. Um, so... If that's something you're interested in, make your voice heard. Otherwise, just help grow the channel. This was a really fun video. I had fun recording it. I hope you had fun watching it. And look how clean this Pokemon looks. Come on. Look at all of its little animations. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, 
Until next time, my name is Berm. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.